Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get right into your reading, Capricorn. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of October 2020. How are you guys? I hope you guys are doing amazing. Now we're starting off the month with the Eight of Cups. For some of you guys, walking away from a situation, circumstance, or relationship. Now, the obstacle to overcome is the hermit. So I feel that for some of you guys, this has more to do with a spiritual uh, awakening. I feel that for a lot of you guys, this could be you walking away from difficulties that you've experienced in the past. Um, now, the obstacle here to overcome is the hermit. So I see you guys very private. For some of you guys feeling a little bit antisocial, I think that this is an energy that has been felt for quite a while. Uh, it could be that you're really putting all your energy and your effort or focus towards work and from home to work and work to home, that type of energy. And what they're telling you is you got to get out of your own way, Capricorn. Um, you got to put yourself out there. Now, I know because of everything that's going on, obviously, in a safe way. But what they're saying is sometimes being too private or sometimes being very secluded is not the best for us. Now, the past and passing, you do have the Hierophant here and the uh, Ten of Swords. So for some of you guys, it could be a marriage. It could be some type of commitment that is coming up and is being challenged here. With the Hermit, I feel that for some of you guys, it could be almost like a questioning of uh, loyalty or some type of belief. Um, now, this could be this could be that there is... For those of you guys that are in a committed relationship or in a marriage, it could represent that both your idea or what you want for the future in regards to the relationship and what your partner is at at the present time is very different. So I think that for some of you guys, it could be that you guys are experiencing the acknowledgement that you're not as connected as you once were. For some of you guys, it could be the, the thinking of either separating or divorcing now keep in mind this is a general reading so this could be your partner's energy as well if you have a tendency of not being completely transparent and not being completely honest it could be that they're tired of that capricorn now if this is a partner that you're dealing with it could be that they pushed you to your limit you have the two of cups here and the knight of of cups. So yeah, I definitely see for some of you guys, this is very connected to relationships. Now it could be for some of you guys, it could be that there was an ending to some type of marriage where you've been carrying on another relationship, but there's still some type of emotional connection to the past. Um, it could be that you've come to understand how deeply you cared for the person or you loved the person and you find yourself comparing you find yourself comparing the type of love you felt for your previous partner to the partner that you're with now what they're saying to me here is the two of cups does represent genuine connection so i feel that if if this is directly connected to those that have been separated or have been divorced but now you find yourself in a serious committed relationship I think that there is definitely love there between you two. But I, the thing about it is what they're telling me, you're comparing some type of personality or you're comparing some type of love. What you must understand, Capricorn, is that as time progresses, as we grow older, we learn to love very differently. You cannot compare a love that you were or you had when you were 15 years old to a connection or a relationship that you have now in your 40s or 50s or 30s or 20s it's going to be very different where there was a lot of passion a lot of desire perhaps now you feel like it's weathered but it's not so much that it's weathered it's just that you've grown accustomed to each other you've grown a little bit you've grown to be comfortable with each other is what they're saying and this is not necessarily a bad thing, you guys. This just represents the different stages of life, the different stages of relationships. 
oftentimes people think that when you get to a point where nothing new really happens, when there's not a lot of excitement, it doesn't mean that there's no love between you two there anymore. It just represents that you've grown comfortable with each other, that you're at peace, that there's no need to be toxic towards each other, that there's no need to be constantly fighting. And it doesn't mean that it's less type of love because some of you Capricorns have a tendency of going after very lustful partnerships. But oftentimes the lustful partnerships or the, you know, relationships that are very passionate and intense are toxic and they're not good for you. Yeah, I definitely see you guys comparing partners or comparing connections to people from your past. And what they're saying here is if you constantly keep doing this or if you continuously keep doing this, it's going to be very difficult for you to feel the same intensity as when you were younger. And if you're going after the same intensity, if that previous relationship didn't work, then guess what? This relationship that you're going after that is very exciting and, and just crazy and argumentative is not going to last either. You have to learn to balance yourself and your desires, Capricorn. Now, for those of you guys that have been single for a while, you may be dealing with the Virgo, you may be dealing with the Taurus, you may be dealing with water energy, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with air signs. So I pretty much see all signs here. But what they're saying is you're definitely going to be feeling a little bit stressed. Why? Because it's almost like the universe is bringing to you people from different walks of life. Some are exciting. Some are a little bit boring. And that's okay. It just depends the type of peace or heaven you're looking for. But for those of you guys that are single, I definitely do see partnership being very important for you guys for this month of October all the way to November. So I see a lot of partnerships happening for Capricorns. Um, these are specifically for those that are single. I do see people from the past coming back around. I also see people from a distance coming back around or trying to connect with you. And I see you guys hesitant about making a decision or choosing between one or two people. If you guys are in a committed relationship, like I said, it's time to analyze. If you feel the relationship has grown a little bit stale, it doesn't mean that there's no passion or desire there. But are you putting the, the effort to seducing your partner, Capricorn? Because it doesn't just fall on them. And if there's lack of sex, have you tried? Have you tried seducing your partner? Have you tried taking them out? on a romantic date or cooking for them or seducing them. I see some Capricorns being tested. Tested in the sense of being challenged. Desiring something that perhaps they feel they should not do. And this is specifically those that are in committed relationships. Put effort before you stray, Capricorn. It doesn't fall on your partner. It also falls on you. It takes two people to make a relationship work. And though the majority of Capricorns, their loyalty is unwavering, those that vibrate to the shadow side have a tendency of having issues being loyal. And if that's you, Capricorn, be careful. Because I do see someone getting tired of your shit. All right? I hope this gives you guys some type of guidance. And I wish you guys the very best. Happy Hallow's Eve. And we'll see each other soon. Bye.